twins update one twin two twin that twin's definitely had piles and piles of milk this twin's just a bit slow and the cow is an absolute nutcase i was in the pen with her i think she'd kill me anyway for a twin that's a belter of a calf just gonna tag them dad's bedding cattle up at the moment this part they're still there it's still got a leak we've not looked at Baxter, Paw, if anyone who's not subscribed should subscribe. Paw, come on, don't do me dirty like this, Baxter. Not in front of an audience, come on. What? Uh, hey, Baxter, Paw. Yeah. That's one tagged and castrated. This one just needs tagged. No castration for this one because it's a heifer. The toss spot's been back doing donuts again. Stirring up the car park, the bandit. What do you think you're doing? Scurrying away. Knows he's in trouble. This is where they're escaping. Go on, Cavi. Oh, you're in. One more. On you go. Oi! What are you doing? No, 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 you fucker. Oh, oh God, sake. The amount of footage I've got of sheep escaping, I could make a feature length film. No idea where these ones have escaped from. Shed progress, we have made a good bit of progress actually. We're pretty much there, we just need to pull the trigger. Actually, here's the plans, I'm going to put them up. There is reasons why we've done quite a few things. Too long a story to explain everything, but there's the plans. If there's anything blaringly obvious you think is stupidly positioned, but things are positioned for a reason. Reply in the comments down there. I'm not going to reply to everyone. Hopefully we've already thought of it and there's a reason for it. Um, but otherwise there also might be good ideas that we've not thought of. Just think having more minds think about the same design, you end up with a better design. So running in boots is never easy. Neither is running in general. Don't know why anyone wants to do that for fun. See what these things make me do. Run. Come on. Oh, don't, no, 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 you little bandit. There's a gate in the corner I've opened. By the way, I've ordered new bonnets, um, Crawford Swarm caps, so they'll be coming soon. This Defender's giving me a few headaches at the moment. The lights on the cluster don't work. Nice. It keeps suddenly dropping out of high range when you're driving along the road at um, 60 miles an hour. We've just built Freddy's first ever bike jump. <laughs> Two inches off the ground. <laughs> He's fleeing. <laughs> hey, good jump. Hey. <laughs> Gate lady, getting the trailer on. This could be a long clip. <laughs> She's got a camera. Wee bit, wee bit, just a wee bit back. Whoa, perfect. Bang on the money. There's a camera. <laughs> we'll test her in the Defender next time. So we're going uh, down to Stirling to pick up a shed roof. Right, this is what we're picking up. So hopefully we can salvage four bays from it. But there will be bits that are destroyed and wrecked. So hopefully we can salvage. It's not going anywhere. We are strapped down to the moon. We've made it back. We're just going to unstrap it, take it off, roll it out in the concrete there. Hopefully, we've got a good bit in here somewhere. Yep! Yeah, go for it. 
gate lady's just shifting this out of the road, then we're gonna use this strip to roll it out. And also it's most protected from the wind. I think we're right in plonking it here and then rolling it that way. Try not to put the forks through it. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Good start. Okay, so we think it's gonna work. All the outside layer that's been exposed to the weather, it's been nailed by the UV, so it's all fragile and wants to tear easy, so all that's useless. The bit that was rolled on the inside is good. We need to somehow spread it all apart because it's like folded over itself and we can't manhandle it. But lifting it with a forklift is gonna rip it, so what I'm gonna do is put lens of wood along the bottom of these tines, put that under the sheet, open the grab obviously, and then put blocks of wood along the top of the sheet and then pinch that together and lift it. It's the only kind of way I can quickly think of moving about with the forklift without destroying it. It's probably smarter ways, but I can't think of them. And now just drive backwards. That's it. It's working. Right, it's took a wee bit of fiddling about but it is working and we've not ripped the sheet even more than we originally had. We're just going to pull it past where those bales and grab are. We just need four bays so a bay is about that stitch in there to that stitch in there. One big tarpaulin. Now we need to figure out how to make a seam out of it because we need to cut it, fold it, get a strap in, stitch it joint together, oh god, and then get it on top of the shed. It's proving a bit of a pain. New knife. Here goes nothing. Sharp as butter, hopefully. Sharp as butter. Sharp as... <laughs> sharp as... Sharp as... No, butter's not sharp. It's soft. Cut the seam, fold it over. I've laid a strap in there, and then we're gonna stitch with bolts and washers along the inside here so the strap's still free. Hopefully that'll work. Although we need to make holes through it, so this might catch and make a mess. I tried drilling through it against a piece of wood, but it just catches around the drill. So I'm gonna go get a piece of pipe, taper the edges so they're really sharp, and hit it with a hammer, and hopefully that'll punch out a center. Because it's not too thick what we're going through, but just the rotation of the drill just catches the material and blocks up the drill. I'm 98% confident that won't work. So I've got some box. I've tapered the edge of that, so that sh might work as a punch, hopefully. Just ideally would have a round bit, but it's gonna have to do. My stupid idea of a hole punch did not work. I <sighs> don't know what to do. How do you make a hole in fabric? Get a 12 gauge out. So you can see what we're needing, four bays worth uh, and a bit of an overlap. And then we have to figure out getting it up and rolling over because it's heavy stuff, it's not light. Don't know how we're going to do that yet, we've not thought about it, but just trying to make the right size and sort the ends. And... Right, that's four bays, 10 metres plus a bit of overlap. I thought we had plenty, but we actually only had that much spare, which is a bit annoying because this piece was the piece that was on the outside of the big roll. So it's weathered, the UV's got into it and it's Week, just wants to tear apart, which is going to be the start of the new piece. Weak. See, that just ripped my hand. I'm not sure how well this is going to go, to be honest. It's totally minced in the middle. <sighs> strap. Here comes the strap we spent an hour putting in. Been a total waste of a day. 
still don't really know what we're going to do. We're going to try a few tarpaulin companies. We've already tried some sail makers there, like a four week lead time. Hens are coming in two weeks. What a waste of a Sunday. Oh, man. Uh, to make things even worse, the weather for the next two weeks is awful. The only decent day is tomorrow, so we're hoping that a roof was going to work so we'd get a decent day to actually do it and change it. It's going to be a right pig of a job to get done. If anyone wants um, a knackered hen roof, and that's how our day has ended in a heap of misery. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Baxter, Baxter! Come on, come on! <laughs> What would you buy if you won the lottery? Anyway, cheers for watching. See you tomorrow where I don't know what's happening again. Guess who just got hey. there today? Then why Bang on the money. Bang.